Hello and welcome to this short tutorial on how to work with widgets on Razuna. Widgets are designed to allow you easily to share assets from Razuna on your website and even to allow users to add assets to Razuna without being logged in. You can create widgets from folders and collections in exactly the same way. For the purposes of this tutorial, let's create widgets for one of our folders. We'll choose My Folder in the folder list to the left. Once the folder is opened, select the Widgets tab, which you can find at the top of the folder. When we click on it, we'll be taken to a page which lists all the widgets. As we haven't yet created any, this is currently empty. We create a new widget by clicking on Add Widget to the right. This opens our widget window. First, give the widget a name. This is for internal purposes only, allowing us easily to navigate between the widgets we've created. We can add a description as well. We now need to set the sharing permissions. We can make it public. This way, everybody can see the widget when we display it on our web page. We can inherit folder permissions from Razuna, in which case the users must log into Razuna in order to see the widget. Or we can set a password. We'll come back to that later. For now, let's just allow everybody to see the widget. We now go to the Widget Settings tab. First, decide whether you want users to see thumbnails or a slideshow. The slideshow will display the folder contents one by one as larger images, whereas thumbnails will allow the user quickly to see all assets. In this case, let's choose thumbnails. We then need to decide whether we want the users to be able to download the original assets. This is useful if we have, for example, Photoshop documents and only want the users to see the renditions. For now, let's allow downloading of assets. After selecting the option, you need to click on the Reset Settings on Individual Assets to apply the change, as the sharing of originals is disabled by default in Razuna. We can now decide whether we want our users to be able to upload assets. This can be useful if you want users on your website to be able to upload, for example, images to Razuna. For now, we'll leave this turned off so they can't upload. Finally, we go to the Widget Code tab, where we simply copy the embedded code which you'll find in the text area. You can then paste this small piece of HTML code into your web page. In this example, let's jump to our WordPress blog where we can enter the code into a simple blog post. Give the post a name. Now paste the code copied from the Razuna widget into the contents area, making sure that we're in HTML mode. Now let's save the draft and take a look at the page. As you'll notice, we now see the Razuna widget completely embedded in the existing layout on the blog. If we click on an asset, a small window opens where we can select which versions to download. As we're letting originals be downloaded, you can see that as an option as well. Now let's go back to Razuna and change the widget settings. We'll now add a password to the widget. This will make the widget visible only after the user has entered the correct password, which we set here. Click Update and jump back to our blog. We don't need to change the code, just click on Preview and refresh the page. As you can see, the widget has now disappeared and the user must enter a password. Let's enter the 12345 password and log in. And there you go, the widget magically reappears. As you can see, widgets are a powerful way easily to display contents from Razuna on your website or blog. There's no coding involved, just a bit of copying and pasting. Back on the Widgets tab, you'll now see the widget we just created in the list below. Here's how to enable uploading for all users. Go back to the widget. On the Settings tab, we remove access to the original by selecting No and resetting the settings on individual assets. As a last option, we now allow the user to upload via the widget on our website. Now let's go back to our blog to see what's happened. Again, no need to change the code, just click Preview and refresh the page. As you can see, the Add Assets button is now visible. And if we click on it, we'll be taken to the Razuna Upload window, where we can add assets from our hard drive. If we click on Download Assets, you'll notice that we can no longer download all the originals. 
all you can do is download renditions of the asset. As mentioned earlier, you can create widgets for collections the same way as you do folders. Simply go to the Collections tab above the folder list to the left, click on it, and you'll see your collections. Choose which collection and where you want to add your widget. At the top, you'll see the Widgets tab. When you click on it, you'll be taken to your widget list, and you'll notice that this and the actual widgets window are identical, creating a widget as they are for a folder. Finally, let's show you a real example of one of our customers using a widget. This is for Plantarama, Scandinavia's biggest garden centre. You'll see that they've taken a lot of photographs of customers and their pets in their garden centres. These photographs have been uploaded by the photographer to this folder on Rizuna. Plantarama has created a widget, which is public and on their website you'll see that the folder contents with all the photographs have been neatly embedded in their existing layout, so their customers can easily enter and download their own photos. So, there you have it. How to create widgets in Rizuna, in a nutshell. We hope you've enjoyed this short tutorial, and thank you, once again, for using Rizuna.